Good day everyone and welcome to the first episode in my quick review series for Aluminum Profile Rig Accessories. Today we're taking a closer look at the GT Omega Prime mouse plate. Quick disclaimer up front, I received this product from GT Omega free of charge but received no other compensation for this video and of course all thoughts and opinions are my own. The purpose of this mouse plate should be fairly clear from looking at it and the product is basically as simple as can be. It's a black aluminum plate with two holes in it. It is 24cm wide, 20cm long, 5mm thick and the finish is a smooth matte black. It's mounted to the sidearm of your rig where it competes for space with a shifter and handbrake so having a long sidearm on your rig will certainly be helpful in finding some space for it. Also, if you're from a country with right-hand side traffic and you have therefore mounted your sidearm to your right, it would certainly help if you also were right-handed, because that's where the mouse tray goes. People from the UK or Australia might want to be left-handed to take full advantage of this product, unless, of course, you find this mouse tray important enough to warrant a second sidearm on your rig, in which case the opposite is true. Anyway, the Prime mouse plate does a fairly competent job at being a flat plate, except in these two regions where it does not. Countersunk bolts would have been the solution here, but to be honest the remaining area of the tray is more than large enough for all the mouse things you do in a sim rig and the two bolt heads are rarely getting in the way of that. The plate doesn't transform your rig into the ultimate environment for shooters, but as long as your shifter doesn't get in the way, it'll certainly make it more comfortable to click through the menus and games. It should also be said that at 5mm this is a very solid piece of hardware and should be very durable. By the way, similar mouse trays to the Prime mouse plate are available from SimLab, Pro SimRig, Advanced Sim Racing, and probably a few more brands. Interestingly, at 5mm thickness, the GT Omega is the thickest and presumably sturdiest of the bunch, with the SimLab and PSR trays coming in at 3 and 4mm respectively. At around 40 credits, it's also the most expensive one on the list, but comes with free shipping. Taking this into account then, all mouse trays of this kind should get a lot closer in price, at least if you're ordering them individually. Overall then, can I recommend the GT Omega Prime mouse plate? Absolutely. So long as you have a good place to mount it on your sidearm, it's a handy little tool that makes life in the rig just a little bit easier. It may even have a slight edge over the competition due to its slightly thicker construction. Thumbs up to GT Omega on this one. But what do you think of the Prime mouse plate? Is the price justified for what you're getting here? Head down to the comment section to let me know. And while you're down there, feel free to leave a like for this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to ring the bell to make sure you won't miss out on future entries in this series. If you want to further support this channel and you're looking for some new sim racing hardware such as the Prime mouse plate, please consider buying via the affiliate links in the description below. With all of that said, I hope you're having a great day, be safe and I'll see you in the next one.